Happy New Year Vinyl Community and YouTube. Uh, so for my first video of 2017, I'm going to unbox uh, another like entry level beginner turntable. Still kind of on the hunt for a uh, turntable for my office area. Um, I've already parted ways with the Crosley that I uh, did the video on about a month ago. It just, uh, I just could never get that platter to play the records without sounding like it was warped. Uh, the new belt didn't fix it. Um, I I don't know if that's just how it, how it was supposed to play or if it um, was defective, but uh, nonetheless, somebody took it off my hands for $20. Uh, I guess they were confident they could fix it. I wasn't going to take the time and try to work it or try to uh, repair it. Um, so I started researching a little bit on um, some other entry level non Crosley uh, turntables. And I came across this one. Uh, I think it was last year 2015 holiday season um, the this was actually the best-selling uh, home audio product on Amazon it goes about for, for, for about forty dollars and it has quite a bit of features on it uh, for an entry level one thing that really stuck out to me is that it has a uh, pitch control so that if it's playing too fast I can actually adjust that but it's pretty much standard as far as like this is basically Jensen's uh, direct competition to Crosley three-speed stereo turntable with built-in speakers and speed adjustment another belt driven has auxiliary um, has USB software pitch volume tone headphone jack speakers are built in has outputs for stereo auto stop switch dust cover uh, so, one thing that when I heard that this was the best selling home audio product um, two holidays ago, and it tells me that a lot of people are buying record players and vinyl. So, that, that's a nice thing. So, I'm going to kind of pop this up here. So this is a very inexpensive uh, option. Uh, Crosley's run about a hundred, hundred and I don't know between eighty and hundred twenty for their cruisers, and I think that one that I had unboxed, the Collegiate, was actually uh, about one hundred twenty dollars if you buy it brand new. So right here I've got the instructions and it comes with the software and the USB cable and then the turntable. Now if you're asking yourself why are you why are you going out of your way to buy a low-end turntable and again I one thing I want is a I want something for my office for just very 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 like random you know if I want to put on an album while I'm in their office on the computer and my daughter's asleep you know I need something that I can just put on and play quietly where it's not getting a lot of play but it's getting you know, just something that's almost like almost like portable in a sense for vinyl. Um, just to based off my few experiences with this tape is not going on. My few experiences with the Crosley players. Um, I don't recommend anybody buying this if this is going to be your main player and you're going to play a lot on it. Um, but at the same time, I'm, I've also been very big on telling everybody to, you know, if you're going to get into vinyl, um, you got to kind of figure out what kind of 
fan you're going to be. Um, are you going to listen to records consistently? Are you going to just play them every once in a while? I mean, are you in it for the fact that it's kind of a retro machine? Are you in it for the sound quality? Um, if you're in it just for something to put on your desk, your bookshelf and play some records from time to time, this is fine. Um, but if you're in it for the sound quality or like a long term, you're looking to build a big collection, um, this would be okay to get you going, but I, again, I don't recommend this for a lot, a lot of play on your vinyl because over time, this is going to wear your, this is going to wear down your, your albums. The reason why is it uses these ceramic cartridges, and I can always tell because if you look at the box, and you can see it on almost all the entry level turntables, it's going to have that red cartridge on it. Now, red cartridge does not automatically mean that, but if you look at the entry level ones, that, that pretty much is what that means. It's the same cheap, like $2 cartridge they put on all these, and there's no way to adjust the tracking force. So what ends up happening is it puts a lot of weight on your, on your albums. And again, if you're just casually doing it every once in a while, it's not a big deal, but if you're doing it Every day, you listen to three or four albums a day. It, it, eventually, yeah, that's gonna be a, become a factor. So I got all this stuff off. It's a nice little unit. Headphone jack, power on and off, auto stop, tone, volume, pitch. Speakers are on the side and on the back. You've got your line out, aux in, USB. So it's pretty much the same kind of setup as the Crosley. It's got like a the platter seems a little bit heavier than the Crosleys. One thing I do like is the Crosleys usually run where the tone arm and the platter are on the same. They're like literally connected. And this one is different. This one's not connected. So I like the fact already that that is the case. There's a little cover on your cartridge. And then your 45 adapter. So I'm not going to play any albums for the sake of copyright. Um, I don't want to risk getting flagged. But um, I, I will turn it on and... Make sure it spins and everything. I like this one because it starts to spin as you pull it towards instead of some Crosleys you actually there's like a mechanism where you have to click it to get it to go so that's nice it's got a little clip to hold it in place right here is the switch for 33 and 45 and 78 if you have the 78 cartridge uh, for those of you who aren't sure uh, if you if you have 78s not a lot of people do but if you have 78s and you think out of the box these are going to play 78s? No, there's a special cartridge you have to buy for 78s, so don't ruin your albums trying to play them. But um, so this is the Jensen three speed stereo turntable with speakers and speed adjustment. Um, it's a sturdy little unit, I like it already, just, just at first glance, better than the Crosley as far as construction is concerned. It feels a little sturdier platter feels a little bit more firm and it's not attached to the tone arm um, so I'll play some albums and uh, maybe put a little bit of an update um, you know as far as you know how they how it does is if, if the platter itself is having any problems um, I guess that's really the best I can do without playing the album and playing the actual <laughs> playing the actual music
I'm not expecting this to be a good sound quality. I expect it to be right on the lines with Crosley. It's probably going to be real light sounding and there's not going to be a lot of bass because the whole purpose of these is so that it doesn't, you know, if you have a lot of bass and you have these really powerful speakers, it's going to rattle this thing and it's going to vibrate your record and it's going to cause playback issues. So these are designed, these cartridges are designed for kind of a lower quality sound. It, it, again, their purpose is just to have like a, a bookshelf record player. So um, again, it's not designed to be a hi-fi system. But um, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really concerned with the sound quality. I, I, I would imagine it's going to sound just like the others. But uh, so far, so good as far as the construction is concerned. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, my next video is going to be the uh, Spin Clean unboxing and demo. Now I will be playing a record on this unit, which is another reason why I bought it. But so I could do quick videos if I need to do a tutorial for cleaning or anything. Um, I can. I'm going to put an album on that's really dirty and it's really poppy. Uh, and I'm going to see if the Spin Clean gets rid of the sound or it gets rid of the. Uh, real bad surface noise at the beginning of this album so uh, keep an eye out for that and uh, again happy new year and uh, thank you